Hi, I'm Robert and welcome back to another edition of the High Desert Ranch Channel. Today is part one of saying goodbye to the Hoggies and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the journey that we've been on thus far and um, where we've got a new watering system that will hopefully work out for the winter time and of course as always I'm employing the tribe labor here on the ranch, uh, the High Desert Ranch. So give you a little bit of that as far as uh, how the chores differ in the winter time and it's cold I'm gonna put on my little uh, warm beanie thing whatever you want to call it that one of the subscribers uh, suggested I do until I get my nice felt hat for Christmas but uh, come along with us today as we discuss the, the pig's journey uh, as we prepare to take them to process here on Thursday and let us be your ticket to help escape the ordinary only on the High Desert Ranch channel. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> things kind of snuck up on me, at least when it is come to loading these hogs. We are we are doing uh, our loading of the hogs on Thursday, and as you can see, I've yet to I've yet to finish building my loading ramp. So that's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. Um, when there's some more light and it's not so freezing. Guys, don't break the fence. But it's um, one of those things that 
it's a bittersweet moment. Uh, I'll say that much. We we do live in a day and age where people might think that it's it's cruel to to raise these kind of animals for for food. But you know, a lot of people depend a lot of people depend on the the product that we that we provide here at the ranch, and so. My grandfather, I think about this all the time, and I even talk to my friend about this, my neighbor, and it's one of those things of, my grandfather would say, son, if you've locked them up or confined them, it's, a, you know, it's your responsibility to take care of them, feed them. And so, where, you know, there's a lot of Americans, it's about 170 pounds of meat a year is what the USDA figures per, per American of meat is consumed. And a portion of that is going to be pork. And with the rising prices of meat, whether it be beef or pork, uh, whatever, uh, it's a sense of pride that I take uh, and that we take here on the ranch, uh, both Shane and I, to provide uh, people here, the locals' economy, with the best type of food. And in turn, by supporting local, you do support the local economy. Um, it's one of those things of, you know, we help to put uh, quality food on the table and then in turn and support families and in turn you support our families here on the ranch by buying that uh, meat and so you know something that my dad also or my grandpa also said was uh, if you can make it so your animals only have one possibly two sad days on the ranch if you can only have have one sad day on the ranch you've really done something and for me that uh, I think maybe only if we're gonna have half a day or one day maybe two <laughs> One day for sure when we were uh, bringing the pigs here, uh, way back when it was a lot warmer, uh, Carla, I remember that, back in uh, June is when we uh, first got our load of hogs. And so now it's in November, we're taking them to be processed. Uh, we have 10 that we're taking up north. To, uh, it's a, a few hour drive up to Spanish Fork, Utah. And we're keeping one back for a gilt. Um, she'll be bred here uh, first part of the year in January by our boar right here. So, um, so yeah, it's one of those things of, uh, we certainly, there is some attachment. I mean, when you take care of an animal every single day, day in, day out, uh, you are going to get attached, uh, somewhat to some extent. And that's the difference between just buying your pork at the store, because most people don't think about where their food comes from. And here, uh, you're able to see exactly where your food comes from. Maybe not these exact hogs. Uh, I did have a subscriber. He said he would love to support the ranch, and that's something that we're looking into is having like a ranch store to where we can ship across state lines. There's a little bit of red tape that we have to go through, but um, you know where your food comes from, and that's what's important because I'm not trying to bag other people that raise meat in feedlots or, or or stockyards, that kind of a nature. But um, here we try and give, like I say, our animals the best the best quality. Of life um, as far as adequate pen size and clean conditions and we pride ourselves <clears throat> we pride ourselves on not uh, having any sort of hormone injections or antibiotics because that's what you'll find at a lot of feedlots um, in these places especially when it comes to pork they they pack the, the hogs in so tight that they can only make it from the the feeder to the water trough and then just be able to lay down so um, I figure, hey, if people are raising hogs, uh, why not myself raise a hog and give these animals the best um, life they can have and then even be able to give families um, quality pork at a, at a quality price. And we take pride in our, in our product here. Uh, that's, something that, um, that's something that I want to make sure I raise the best product and I'm going to follow through to make sure that those that order from the High Desert Ranch have the best experience possible. And we're learning and growing. Um, as far as when it comes to the the animals or here on the ranch, they we take care of them. Uh, they contribute towards the bottom line. And for those that might view me as cold or callous or any other rancher or farmer, um, we're not. In fact, my father said it never, it never was easy growing up uh, for him when it came to uh, ending an animal's life. And he said, if it ever did get easy, um, there, there's something wrong with you. And I believe that because um, it just won't get easy and it shouldn't. 
Um, there should always be a little lump in your throat or get a frog in your throat when it comes time to, um, to dispatch the life of any of your livestock here on the ranch. So as we wrap up things here tonight, and I've got to prepare to build that loading ramp to get things out of here, this is kind of exciting because my grandfather, he raised hogs. Uh, I'm talking to my dad and my uncle, uh, usually upwards of 100 a year. So uh, as part of, as some of you might know or may not know, um, but check out some of my older videos, uh, even the high uh, introduction of the High Desert Ranch channel. Um, this is kind of a milestone because um, we're going to be able to know, bring back a part of the ranch that was once operable, and that is raising hogs along with our beef cows that we're raising. So. Um, please, if you uh, like what you've seen and what you've heard today, check out all my other videos and that we've uh, made here on the High Desert Ranch channel. Like, subscribe, comment too um, if you have any questions or comments. And sometimes um, I'll either make a video or I'll highlight your comment, uh, your question comment in the next video. And even just do a, a comment highlight from you subscribers because I do this for you guys. Um, and I'm a small channel, but it's one of those things of, I didn't do this to for glory or fame. I'm trying to help stop some of the realistic misinformation there on YouTube, but also teach people uh, where their food comes from and the cycle of life. And you get to see me grow and learn because I don't pretend to know everything. I love getting suggestions from people. Um, honest, uh, truly coming from a good place suggestions in the comment section here on YouTube. It's helped me learn some things, look into new things. And you get to see, you get to learn and grow along with myself and my family. We've got some exciting things, even though the snow and the cold is here to stay, things are just getting warmed up here on the ranch. Um, on Thursday, we'll have part two where we, you can see our entire process of loading up the hogs. Fingers crossed that our, our working chute and our squeeze chute and the loading ramp that I've got to uh, build between now and Thursday will all work and my whole, all this planning and will culminate into something that is very smooth and it will work uh, from here on out because we've got a lot more hogs we're going to be moving. Uh, we're also going to be breeding our sow here uh, in just a few weeks. So we're going to be taking over to a, a dear friend's uh, boar um, here on the other um, other side of town. And we are going to be getting some, some new little piglets here from a breeder here. And then we'll even be moving our, our sow, or excuse me, our boar into a different pen. And I'm also going to show you a cold weather uh, tip to not only sanitize your pen, but also to either prevent worms or those parasites and even kill the eggs that are growing. So it's an all natural way. So you'll want to stay tuned for that here coming up. And you can only do that if you like and subscribe and hit that notification uh, bell button as well. So you get all the latest and greatest here from the High Desert Ranch channel. And hopefully I was your ticket to help escape the ordinary and find out just what it's like with the highlight now a very frigid highlight in the Orange Mountain West only on the High Desert Ranch channel.